Hey guys, today I'm going to be making three spiral t-shirts. All the shirts have been pre-soaked in soda ash for 20 minutes and have been wrung out so they are just damp. My spiral t-shirts I use hemostats but it's really important to be careful when you clip them because I have torn shirts before. When I'm using the hemos, I find that instead of twisting it, it's easier to work the shirt around it instead. You can control the size of the pleated folds better that way. bands to keep the shirt in place after it's done being twisted up. I'm just going to keep repeating the same technique for the remaining t-shirts. Working the shirt around the hemos versus just twisting them can prove to be a lengthy process sometimes, but I do find that the results are always a little better in the end. The smallest of the t-shirts is the one that I'm most excited for because it's for my nephew. All of the dyes featured in today's video are Dharma Fiber Reactive Porcian dyes. All of the t-shirts are going to be red and black. For the red, I'm using light red from the Dharma Trading Company, and the black will be Raven. First, I'm just making sure that I can get all the shirts completely dyed in red. moment I will be using a fun technique for the black and I will actually paint the black dye on over the top of the red. painting on the black dye, I just use a separate dish or cup that I put the dye in, and then just an old paintbrush. This part can take some time, and with the rubber bands on the shirts, I was finding that the paintbrush would catch the rubber bands and start flinging the dye around. So I suggest if you do this, to just take your time so that you don't make a big mess. I chose to paint the pleats versus just pouring a bunch of black dye over it because I wanted the light red to really shine through. It's important when painting the pleats to make sure that you get enough dye on there. Believe it or not, for as black as these shirts look, a lot of that dye is going to wash out.
after the shirts are dyed to your liking, please put them in an airtight bag or container and let them sit for a full 24 hours before washing them out. Stay tuned for the end for all of the washed and dried pictures. I think that the shirts all turned out pretty great. Thank you for watching everybody.